Hey you guys, today is going to be um, a video called Nipple Piercings One on One. As you guys may know, I just recently got my nipples pierced and you um, had a lot of questions. So I decided to make a video answering you guys' questions. And um, yeah, so if I look down, I made a little notepad thingy even jigger. So yeah. Um, started off, we're going to talk about why I got my nipples pierced. And the reason why I got my nipples pierced is because it was a personal um, decision. And um, I have this like condition or whatever, and it's called inverted or flat nipples. And um, you guys can just Google it if you want to know like in depth de um, information about it. But basically, your nipples are not like um, always out, they're like shy. And um, when they do come out, or well, the condition that I have, I have type A, and when I do come out, they only come out for about 10 to 20 seconds, and that's it. So yeah, it was quite embarrassing because I'm like 22 years old, and yeah, you get my dress. So um, I did some research, and it said there was like two options, and option A was to get surgery, and option B was to like try nipple piercings. So I did some research on the um, surgery. And it was just a lot of pros and cons, and I just didn't want to spend that type of money on it, and then you know not get the right type of results that I was expecting. So I decided to try the cheap alternative first, and then you know if something was to go bad, and I can try something else. But so far, so good. Um, as far as the nipple piercings, if you have this inverted or flat nipple condition, um, nipple piercings are supposed to make them stay out all the time. They're not going to be hard all the time, but they're going to stay out. So, um, like I said, so far so good. I have not had any problems. Um, they are um, out 24-7. And like I tell everybody else, I have nipples now. And, or should I say visible nipples? Well, anyways. Yeah, I'm very, 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 very satisfied with um, my decision on getting this piercing. Um... So if you have this condition, you may want to try to piercing first before you jump into having surgery. Because surgery, blah, 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 blah. surgery is um a very 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 big deal. So just try the cheap alternative first, and if it doesn't work, then try the surgery, I guess. Um, pain level on a scale of one to ten. On a scale of one to ten, the actual piercing was um a four, and then afterwards. It wasn't a pain. It was like a burning sensation or a stinging sensation, and it was a five. It's nothing that you can't deal with. I mean, it's not unbearable or whatever, but um, if you can put up with cramps, then you can put up with this piercing because it doesn't hurt that bad. Like, it was just like a pinch. Like, if somebody pinches you, that's what it feels like. Um, the cost. It cost me $45 for both. Um... Some places it's cheaper, some places it's more expensive, but here where I stay, it was only $45. Um, how do I clean it, and what do I use to clean it? Um, I use liquid gold dial, antibacterial soap, and I use Q-tips. All I do is um, put the Q-tip under the, water, the running water, and I squirt some um, soap on the Q-tip, and then I clean the piercing. Um, what else? And then I take another Q-tip and I take just water on it and I just, you know, like wash it the soap away, I guess. And then I take like a paper towel and I just pat it dry. Um, the most comfortable bra, I would say, would be the sports bra. And I would only say that after the first week. Because um, the first week I did the padded bras. And I did padded bras because they were like protection, I guess you can say far as like if somebody hit me like this, like if you hit my bra, you don't feel nothing but the pad. But if it was a sports bra, then you would feel everything. So for the first week, being that it was so sensitive, I did the um, padded bras. And then after that, I did sports bras. And sports bras were more comfortable to me. And to this day, like right now, I still do the sports bras, but right now I have on a padded bra. Um, I've had my nipples pierced for about probably two weeks or three weeks. Um, I think I got a pierced October 26th maybe or something like that. So it's been about two weeks I guess. Uh, no, your nipples aren't always at attention or on hard. Um, 
they, well, on my, based off my experience, they, um, they're always out, but they're not always, like, rock hard or whatever, so I hope that answered that question. Um, while they're healing, yes, they do tend to itch a lot, and that goes with any piercing or any cut or any burn, like, if it doesn't itch, I don't believe that it's healing well, so, um, hip itching is normal during the healing process. Um, you will have some pus and maybe blood. With my experience, I only had pus, but, like, my friend, she had pus and blood, but, however, um, they're both normal, so, you don't have anything to worry about. And, um, yeah, I'm recording in front of my window, and somebody's walking by, and I'm just looking. But anyways, yeah. Um, so, yeah, if you experience pus or blood, then it's normal. And if it's, like, green pus or something like that, then you need to go get that checked out, because I don't think that's normal. But anything, um, yeah, that's it. So, how long does it take? I have heard so many different things. But my pierce, piercer told me, personally, four to eight weeks. My friend, she got hers pierced and they told her two to four weeks. My other friend got hers pierced and they told her four to six weeks. So, I don't know which one is correct, like, legit correct. But I'm based off what my piercer told me. I'm going by what he told me. And I'm going through the four to eight weeks total healing process. So, yeah. Um... Sucking, touching, and licking. Yeah. You need to wait for two weeks. Um, you're, it's, you're not going to die if you don't have your nipples sucked on and licked on and touched and all that extra stuff. You have no reason doing that anyway. No, I'm kidding, but yeah, it is two weeks to do all that freaky shit. So, yeah, just chill. Like, it'll be okay. Um... You want to try not to get them caught on anything. Um, when you get them caught on things, like, it will slow down the healing process. Because, like, when it's snagged on something, it's like, it, it jerks it or whatever. And wherever it healed it, it, sometimes it'll rip it back or whatever. So, yeah, try not to get it hooked on anything. That's why I say the padded bras during that first week when they're, like, um really raw you don't want to like rip it out or nothing like that so do the padded bras for protection and you some people like the padded bras through the whole healing process or whatever but to me I do the padded bras in the daytime and then like at night time or whatever or when I'm just chilling I do the sports bras um what kind of ring do I have in I have the plain silver like straight bar I can't remember what it's called I think it's called a barbell or something. I don't know, but I don't have no hoop or anything like that. Um, when I'm done healing, I'm going to get the, uh, like, I seen this blinged out nipple piercing ring. I don't know why I say nipple piercing ring. Nipple rings. And I want to get those, but, like, my skin is super sensitive to it's fake jewelry, so I have to see if they have it, like, in the real deal stuff, because I don't want to be infected or nothing like that. So, yeah. Um... I think that's all of the questions that you guys had asked me um, about piercings. So, if I did not answer your question or if you have another question or anything like that, just comment below and I will answer. Um, I know some of you guys were wondering what's on my lips. I have Max Viva Glam, the new collection that just recently came out. And um, I have um, Night Moth Lip Liner. So... Yeah, both of my MAC products. And for my hair, I have Fuck Your Hair Company um, clip-ins that I made. Um, I think this is an 18-inch Peruvian body wave. And, of course, it's straightened out. Um, these are about five pieces. I had originally made um, a seven-piece, like seven-piece set or whatever. But I ended up um, taking two out. So, um, for personal reasons, but I'm going to make probably two more again because right in this area, my my real hair tends to um, stick out. I don't know if you can see it. I think it is in my head. Yeah, right up in here somewhere. But yeah, I'm going to make probably two more, maybe one more and, you know, get that whole thing fixed. So yeah. Uh, what else? 
I think that is all the questions or whatever that I feel like you guys don't need to know. Uh, I will be doing makeup tutorials, hair tutorials. Um, I will do more hauls. I will try to work on the outfit of the day videos. Um, just whatever you guys ask me to start doing, I'm going to actually try to do it. But right now, I can't do the makeup um, tutorials because I just had eye surgery and I can't wear eye makeup. I can't wear um, lashes. I can't wear my contact lenses or nothing like that, so I'm stuck wearing my glasses with no lashes and no eye makeup, but I've been cheating, and I've just been doing, like, eyeliner and light mascara because I feel weird without anything on my eyes. So, yeah, um, once I'm, like, fully healed, I will start doing makeup tutorials and eyeshadow applications for you dolls. Um, what else? I'm working on getting a new camera. I should have it for Christmas. And it's going to be a Canon EOS Rebel T5i, I think that's what it's called. Anyways, it's like a great camera, so I'll, for Christmas, you know, I should have my new camera. And for the ones that was like, my camera sucks and all that stuff, yeah. I have a new camera, so. Um, yeah, I think that's all for this video. Um, just don't forget to rate, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.